Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a full screen layout with parallax background image transitions in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So before we get started, we're going to need a few things in place. So first of all, you need to be running Divi and preferably the latest installment of Divi. Secondly, you're going to need some images from the Juice Shop layout pack, which is also free. So you can find this in our layout packs and then you can go ahead and download those images. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start off by creating a brand new page. So we're gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So you can give your page whatever title you, you want, but in this case, I'm just gonna use full screen layout with parallax background. Next, we're gonna click on use Divi Builder. And then now we are greeted with these three options. So in this case, we are going to build this from scratch. So I'm gonna select build from scratch. I'm gonna close this for now. Next, I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button. And this time we're gonna add a full width header. So I'm gonna select here, click on full width header. Now let's make some uh, changes to our titles and our buttons. So first of all, we're gonna change our title. So over here, we're just gonna replace this with tomato juice. So for our button here, instead of saying click here, we're gonna change this to see recipe. And it's also a good idea that we uh, go ahead and add the link to that button. So that can be done by coming over here to link. And then for now, I'm just gonna give this a blank link. But in your case, you need to add a link which takes you to the actual recipe. All right, so now that we have this in place, the next stage now is to just come back over here and get rid of some of this text because it's a bit too much. Just delete that. Now we need to add an image. So I'm just gonna scroll down here, click on images, and then we're gonna come over here to logo image URL. Click this plus button. And the image that we're gonna use is right here. So I'm gonna click here to select it. Click on upload an image. So as you can see, this image is really, really big. So we may need to go in and adjust it so it's the right size. So let's come over here to the design tab. And then we're gonna scroll down here to sizing. And we're gonna reduce the width. Next, we're gonna add our background color. So I'm gonna come back over here to content, click on background, and we're going to change our background color here by just clicking in this area. Now, the color I'm going to use is a transparent color. So you just need to drag the slider down a little bit and then paste the value between the brackets. And by the way, if you wanna use the colors that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Right, so the next stage is to make this full screen. So we're gonna come over here to design layout and then we're going to click on make full screen next on show scroll down icon we're going to click here and we're going to say yes we're going to choose our icon and add the color so i'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here so if i scroll down here you can see there is my arrow so as you can see here our text is um we know our text is here, but uh, we can't read it, and that's because it's on a white background. So what we're gonna do next is to come over here to the text, and let's change the colors. So right now, it's set to light. We're gonna change this to dark, and now you can see everything is now in view. That's great. So the next thing we're gonna do is to go to our heading and add our fonts. So we're gonna start off with heading two. So we're gonna come over here, so for our font, we're gonna change this to railway. Select that. And the size is going to be 50 pixels. Now let's move on to the body font. So over here, the body font is going to be Lato. So I'm gonna come over here, search for my font, select it. And this time our text size is going to be 16. And then we're gonna add a letter spacing of one pixel. Right, so we're gonna set this to 16 and one pixel for our letter spacing. Now let's move on to button one. So I'm gonna select here, click on use custom styles for button. So this is so that we can go in and customize our button settings. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to set our button text size to 16. So I'm gonna come over here, change that to 16. The text color, we're gonna set this to white and then the button background color is going to be this dark gray. And for the border radius, we're gonna set this to 50, letter spacing to two, 
and we're going to make this all caps. Right, so the next step is to set our width. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here, click on sizing, and then on our width here, we're going to set this to 45%. And then we might as well go in and set our sizes for our tablets and our smartphones. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. On the tablet, we're going to set this to 60. And for the phone, we're going to set this to 100. Great. Right, so the next stage is to add a section background. So I'm going to save this, and then we're going to come over here to our section settings. Click on background, and then we're going to add a background image. So I'm going to click here on the third tab. Click this plus button, and we're going to choose this image right here. Click on upload an image. Next, we're going to come over here and select use parallax effect. Set that to yes, and we're going to set this to CSS. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and save. And then what we're gonna do is, because this is the design that we're going to need for our other examples, so we're going to duplicate this three times. So I'm gonna come over here and do it three times. So now we can see that we have four in total. So what we need to do now is to go to each and every one of these and add a different background image. So I'm gonna start off, uh, over here with the top one. So I'm gonna click here on my section settings click on background and then I'm just going to change this image here to match what I have in the background. So I'm going to go with this one here, upload an image. So you can see that this works with this product. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And then what you need to do now is to go into each section uh, header settings. So I'm going to come over here to module settings. And then the first thing we're going to come and do here is to change this image. So I'm going to click here. And this time, the, Im the image I'm going to choose is this one right here. Upload an image. And then I'm just going to change the title here. So I'm going to click back here on text. So instead of saying tomato juice, I'm just going to call this orange juice. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go to the section settings. Click on background and then change that background image. And then we're going to go with this one right here an image. So as you can see, this image here, it works in line with the product that we have here on the right. So what you need to do is to go ahead now and add the other products on the other two sections. Okay, so um, I've added all my large images. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a preview and see what this looks like. So we're going to exit the Visual Builder. And then let's take a look at this. So I'm going to click here on this arrow. And you can see here the transition is working. And that looks great. Right, so we can also explore a different layout um, options. We can either center this or we can add it over all the way here to the right. We can also use a different type of uh, parallax because we have two options. We have CSS and we also have true parallax. So let's just go back over here and I'll show you how quickly you can do that if you want to make these changes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our um, module settings. Click on design. Sizing. So over here on sizing, we can actually align this to the center. So now we can see that our main uh, contents here are now in the center. So this could be maybe an option that you may want to uh, go with, but it's always best to have all these in the center if you're going to be choosing that option. Okay, we can also align this to the right as well. So if you prefer having, you know, your content to the right, you, you know, it's quite easy. You know, you can just flip it over here to the right. And then after you've done all that, you can just save it and then exit the Visual Builder. But for now, I'm just going to bring everything all the way here to the left because I think my design looks better this way. So I'm going to save that. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, leave your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to those. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.